Hello and welcome to this very special Dittmer Knittery video. Thank you to Kim the Crafty Nomad for organizing this seasonal yarny YouTube hop. The list of participating channels is of course in the description box below. They are a fun and creative group of makers and on all of their channels, they have created projects to share for spring. So please like their channels and watch their video for this spring event and watch their videos for all times and all seasons, please. I think you'll enjoy that. The hashtag for the spring hop is hashtag spring yarny YouTube hop. Hashtag spring yarny YouTube hop. And of course that will be in the description box below as well. Now I am just lazy at hashtags and keeping up with a lot of the details because my favorite part of course is making the things. Um, so anyway, <laughs> that's why I've had my spring project completed for some time. But today, today, I realized that I needed to make the video today. So here I am, maybe a little bit unprepared, but very excited about this event and thankful to Kim for inviting me to participate. And when Kim announced the event, I asked her if a felted entry would qualify. And she replied, as long as it's fiber related, it works. I've waited a long time to show this. Um, I haven't shared it anywhere, and I kept telling Kim I had it done, so today I am excited to show you my creation for spring. Here it is. And I will insert here so you can see uh, more details, and then I'll come back to talk about the yarn and the materials. I think you can better see some of the details this way. Let's move in. Needle felting with wool yarn on a 100% wool background. And as you move closer, you can see the details of some of the yarns. for the background of the needle felted spring piece, I did use this 100% wool felt square that comes like this. And there are other brands, but I do know that this felt work still has this available. Again, it is 100% wool felt square. And the yarns I used were mostly the Lamb's Pride. Eighty-five percent wool, fifteen percent mohair, and I also used this palette fingering weight for a lot of the smaller details in many different colors. That's why I like palette because it comes in so many colors. And so I do my needle felting, usually mostly with yarn. Um, sometimes I create my own background. Sometimes I use a purchased background like this. I'm fortunate to have this and it's a fun way to practice without having to create 
you know, your own piece of felt to work on. I keep my felting needles in this shoebox because it's safe. I can always just put the lid on and put it away. And um, my cat, my pets can't get to the needles when it's covered up like that. And it's easy for me to access by just removing the lid. And there are many types of felting needles available. These are the ones that I have purchased and that I like. And when I talk about using the fine needles, this is generally my favorite one to use. It's color-coded green. And um, this little card that comes with the needles that I purchased says the green is a 40 triangle, fine work, small details, fine wool. My shoebox has my pair of scissors, a foam that I keep my needles in, and you can make or purchase something um, fancier, but this works for me. <laughs> um, so I thought when I talk about needle felting, I like people to see the tools that I'm referring to. I hope that's helpful to you. I hope you liked seeing that a little bit more closely. It was a lot of fun to make, and um, I have been thinking of some different options about how I want to mount or hang it, and um, I hope I have a solution, and I'll share that with you. Um, the, okay, my materials. I've shown um, these things before. I use um, a fine felting needle, and I used, for the background, I used this, um, a piece of felt like this. And this is a Feltworks brand product. This is 100% wool felt that comes in this square. And this, I cut, I cut two in half and sewed them together with my sewing machine. That's the back, if you're interested. <laughs> and then um, I created this scene on the front, like I said, with needle felting. And I use yarn for needle felting. So the tree is Lamb's Pride wool yarn in this lovely green variegated that's mossy, excuse me, grassy knoll. And this brown. And those are the yarns I use to create the tree. And these are worsted weight yarns. And then I did a lot of the rest of it with lighter weight yarns, such as this palette Knit Picks 100% yarn. Again, I'm usually using a single needle, fine felting needle. Sometimes I use a rubber band to hold two or three needles together, but usually I use one needle and generally in the fine range. Um, and I needle felt the yarn onto this background and build the details. It is a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. <laughs> um, and again, all wool materials with needle felting. I hope you enjoy this and all the spring videos in the Spring Yarny YouTube Hop event. Please go to my description box, find the links to the participating channels, and have a lot of fun watching. Thanks again to Kim the Crafty Nomad.